Hi, welcome to Attainable Green. I'm Jess, and today we're going to be talking about angracoids. Now, angracoids encompass several different genera, mostly angracums and orangus. Most of these plants come from Africa, and more specifically, Madagascar. I'm going to share with you a couple of orchids that I purchased from Louisiana Orchid Connection. I got these at the Madagascar pre-sale that they had earlier this year. It's been a few weeks since I had these plants and I need a little help to figure out what I should do with them. So I'm going to start with the smallest one. This is the Orangus sigari. This is a small plant known for its leathery leaves and its bronze tinged flowers. It's a stunning plant and I'm pretty excited to have it. The size is exactly what I expected, but the condition of the plant is a little questionable. I knew the condition of the plant would vary since they're coming from Madagascar, but this one was a little disappointing. A few days after I got this plant, the lower leaf fell off. It was already turning yellow and it turned brown and died. It looks like the crown of the plant may be damaged, so I'm hoping for a kiki to sprout. One of the leaves is twisted upside down and the other one is right side up. So I'm not sure where this plant came from, but it looks like it kind of had um, some unusual conditions which allowed it to look a little funny. I placed this one on a heating mat and I'm keeping it fairly moist and hopefully that will generate some ideal conditions for this plant and hopefully it will pull through. The next plant is the Ingracum leonis and several other YouTubers have this plant. The plants featured on other videos look a lot healthier than mine. This one looks a little bit dehydrated, but it's definitely a mature specimen. You can see that there are a lot of old flower spikes on this plant and the stem is pretty old. It has a couple of thin wiry roots with active growing tips. So I'm hopeful that the roots will establish itself and do well in my setup. The Leonis came bare root. During the winter time, this plant receives no water. It kind of has a dry winter's rest. So I'm not too concerned with the shriveled leaves and it looks pretty healthy overall. Since it's spring, I'm hoping that new growth will start and the roots will establish itself. The plant overall is kind of in a C shape. So it's a little bit hard to pot and right now I have it in a clay pot with a lot of charcoal. I'm not sure if this is the best media, but it's definitely fast draining and it won't break down. I am worried about rot since I know that this plant likes more humid conditions. I'm hoping that this plant will perk up and it will be more hydrated as the roots continue to grow. This is a pretty mature specimen since it has one main growth and one small side growth. I'm really loving its fan-shaped leaves. I'm not sure if this potting setup best displays it. So as the plant gets healthier, I'm hoping that it'll look a lot better. The last plant is the Orangus modesta. For most descriptions, this plant is a small to medium sized orchid. The specimen that I have received is fairly large. It has a pretty good root system and you can tell that there are some live root tips growing out and the stem itself has a lot of old flower spikes on it. So this is definitely a mature blooming sized plant. This plant is a little bit different than most descriptions. I think it's because of the size of the leaf, the spacing between each leaf node or leaf bract and just its overall appearance seems a little bit larger than expected. I was definitely hoping for something on the smaller side, something like the Leonis. So this one's a little bit out of my ballpark. This plant came bare root and I'm still deciding if I should leave it bare root, mount it in a net pot or on a slab, or I should pot it up. Given the twisted nature of this plant, the roots and bottom half of the plant are facing one direction and the top half of the plant is facing another direction. So it makes it a little bit challenging to put it in a pot or have it stand upright since it's in a C kind of shape. So I'm not sure if a pot is the best way to deal with this plant. Also the roots are very stiff and I don't wanna break them. So all of these factors make this plant the most challenging one to pot. If you have any ideas on what I should do with this Modesta, please let me know in the comments. So that is my haul from Louisiana Orchid Connection. And I am really excited and pretty happy about most of the plants that I got. They have a pretty wide range of species to collect and so far I'm pretty pleased with the result. Not all of them are in the best of health, but they are definitely mature blooming size plants that I wouldn't be able to find elsewhere. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Attainable Green, for all the latest updates. And hit the bell so you never miss an episode. Bye.